I'm making this video feeling the most disappointed I've probably ever felt in my life. The PlayStation 5 was just released, it was teased and advertised for months, and I felt so excited to get my hands on it and experience the next generation of console design, but all I can feel now is my shriveled husk of a soul crying out a bitter song of sadness. Let me explain. The PlayStation 5 is the newest console release from Sony and the hottest new thing on the block. It was extremely hyped and looked very promising. Backwards compatibility on PS4 titles, an SSD for faster load times, 4K support at 120fps, a popped collar. This thing was the real deal. The tech demos made it look amazing. The hype surrounding this thing was huge and it was so cool to see everyone getting so excited about it online. We definitely needed that distraction from 2020, and the PS5 signaled hope to me in a desperate time. Chances are, you don't have a PS5 because the handling of pre-orders was an actual dumpster fire, but maybe that's not so bad because the PlayStation 5? It's not good. There are a lot of things to love about the PS5, don't get me wrong. This thing is fast. When it comes to loading times, if the PS4 was dial-up, then this thing is a billion Sonic the Hedgehogs living inside the internet. Going from the main screen to the game in the new Spider-Man takes three seconds, and I gotta say, that's really cool and opens up a lot of possibilities. It's also a pretty beefy system, running 4K at 120fps on a console, again, that's pretty awesome, and hopefully that's gonna let developers push the envelope further with their ideas. You know, games like Bug Snacks could have never been done on other systems because of how graphically demanding they were. So, again, huge amounts of possibilities have opened up here. And speaking of games, the PS5 comes with some pretty strong launch titles. Bug Snacks isn't just a game. On the PS5, it's an immersive experience. And speaking of immersion, the new PS5 controller is amazing. The haptic feedback and adaptive triggers add so much to games like Bug Snacks that I really feel like a reporter on Snacktooth Island. But there are some glaring issues here that just make the system literally unplayable. What went wrong here? The main problem is that I don't have one. And this isn't just a light case of not having one, this is a pretty bad case of not having one. I don't have one so bad that it's not connected to my monitor right now. I don't have one so bad that even if I went downstairs to check the TV, I still wouldn't have one. I'm pretty sure I don't even have one in my house. I can't experience the sheer joy of DualSense controller design with haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. I can't experience lightning fast loading times and the future of gaming. I can't even experience bug snacks. I've done everything I can to fix this problem, but nothing I do is working. Manifesting it didn't work. Conjuration didn't work. Pretending my PS3 was a PS5 didn't work. And I'm pretty sure until Sony fixes this issue for me, I will continue to not have a PS5. How can the PS5 be good if I don't have one? Guys, I'm gonna be real. I don't see this problem going away on its own. I think I'm gonna continue to not have a brand new PlayStation 5 until Sony does something about it for me. Maybe they could send me one in the mail or I could meet them halfway and pick it up. I could adopt one. I'll even take refurbished. I just, I just don't know how I feel. I just don't know. And I feel like I'm out of options. One thing I do know is that this is pretty unfair. How am I gonna play bug snacks now with, with my mind? What? Sony, do the right thing. Fix my problem. Send me a PlayStation 5. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.